Alright, well, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dadzillasaur. Welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Survival Guide series. This is episode 7, the bees episode. So today we're going to talk about bees. And as you can see right behind me here is a, uh, it was a naturally um, generated uh, bee nest here that uh, located right next to this village that is the village that is close to my uh, new main base that we built last episode right off in that direction just off out in the fog. So we're going to talk about what we can do with the bees and how they're useful to us. So first of all there are uh, a couple different type of uh, nests like this. There is the bee nest which is the naturally generating one and then there's also a beehive that you can collect honeycomb from this and make beehives and uh, you can um, uh, breed bees and increase your uh, uh, bee population locally that way. Um, so again from this nest we can we can get um, honeycomb and you just use your uh, shears for that. Now before you do that you're gonna want to place a fire below it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise if you uh, try to mine anything from this nest uh, the bees will get aggressive and they'll sting you. Uh, so we do have a fire under here so it's smoking the nest and there you go so there's some honeycomb. Uh, the other thing is if we had empty glass bottles we could do the same thing and collect liquid honey for that. So now the honeycombs generally they make, you can make honeycomb blocks with that um, and you can make a beehive. The honey bottles, if you drink it, if you're poisoned and you drink the honey, it'll cure that poison. Uh, and you can also make a honey block and honey blocks uh, mobs don't like to walk on. Okay, so um, we've got some bees here. Now the other uh, neat thing here is you can breed bees using flowers. So here you go, you can see they like the flowers, and just like any other mob, any other passive mob, give them both a flower, and there you go, and there's another bee. Uh, we can also lead them, so uh, if we wanted to get uh, bees uh, in another location, uh, we can lead them just like, you know, just like we use wheat for cows, we can, we can lead these bees uh, with flowers, and we can lead them somewhere else. Now the thing is, they need a nest, so um, you can do a couple of th different things. If I had silk touch uh, and I waited until um, typically nighttime, the bees go in this in the nest uh, periodically during the day, but at nighttime typically they'll all go in the nest. If you mine the nest with um, a silk touch tool when all the bees are in there, then you'll get the nest and the bees, and then you can put it wherever you want. Um, I don't have any silk touch right now, so we're not going to do it that way. Um, I'll show you by my crops that I've planted over there that I have several uh, posts with the fire underneath uh, ready for beehives. Now I could take uh, a flower here and get them to follow me all the way over there and if I breed them next to the empty beehive, um, the new bee, the new bee, yeah, just, that's funny, uh, the new bee uh, would um, look at that nest that he was uh, born near. Uh, that he spawned near as his home nest. The other bees would want to come back to this nest. Uh, there's another way we can get uh, bees where we want them, and that is by if you plant an oak or a birch tree within two blocks of a flower, uh, you've got a 5% chance. So that's the way we're going to try to do it today. But I wanted to talk about some of the different ways uh, that you could move bees. And um, so since this one just happened to generate near this uh, near this village that we're gonna pretty soon we're gonna make it safe and uh, we're just about ready to start trading and get get um, uh, emerald rich and um, so it was a convenient uh, time and place to go ahead and do that alright so we're gonna head back over to the main base now that we just built I did a little bit of work off camera um, you may recall if you watched the last episode that the house was on and you're starting to see it now on the side of a, well, you'd either call it a big hill or a small mountain, um, but it wasn't really accessible. So I started this path, and we're going to make this look a lot better, but uh, we've at least just got one in place right now. Um, I started this path, and it kind of winds around, and uh, I'll show you here real quick. And it comes up on the side, and then it eventually turns to stone. And this way, we can get up to this ridge up here where I have a lot of the uh, giant spruces going and we can get all the way up to the front door. Now there's a lot more work to do on this but it's a it's a start anyway. We've got a nice view 
overlooking this terraced farm. It's kind of hard to tell that it's a terraced uh, crop farm from here, from this angle. You can kind of see it over there, how it steps down uh, every few rows. Um, I thought that was kind of a, a neat visual. And we've got the, you know, all the main crops growing. You can see the, the uh, posts here, and I do have one uh, beehive placed on that post there. And we're gonna do the method now um, where we try to create a, uh, a beehive, uh, a bee nest, sorry, naturally uh, using the tree and flower placement method. So right now I do have, uh, like I said, I do have this beehive placed and with a fire under it. So it's ready to accept bees, but there are no bee bees here right now. So I'm just going to step back here and let's go ahead. We're going to plant a flower. And this might take a bit because, again, it's only a 5% chance. And then we're going to go ahead and um, place a tree here. And I could have placed it right next to it. Um, well, the sun's going down, so we're going to take a quick sleep. I could have placed it right next to it, but as long as you're within uh, two blocks, the, uh, this, this will work. It'll give you a 5% chance of getting a naturally uh, generated beehive or bee's nest. Okay, well, we're going to leave that bed here because sometimes this takes a while. And I, I hope it happens. Um, I don't have a lot of um, of the bone meal here. So let's hope that it doesn't take too long. So here's a tree and no bee's nest. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it down. We need the wood anyway. And we're just going to do this over and over again until we get ourselves a naturally uh, generated uh, bee nest. All right, so I don't want to take the time to mine up all those leaves, but if we plant one right over here, that should be good. All right, maybe I'm too close to these leaves. Okay. All right. 0 for 2. All right. So I'll probably keep planting trees here and I'll probably just skip ahead. I'll, uh, I'll come back when we actually get one. Okay, what we're going to do here, uh, we ran out of bone meal, so we're going to go ahead and craft a little contraption here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this little contraption, and it's going to allow us to turn our seeds into um, bone meal. And that'll help us grow these trees faster. So, so far I've, I've uh, planted and grown, I don't know, probably a dozen or so trees, and no luck so far. But again, it's only a 5% chance, so... It'll happen. Oh, there's one right there. No, I don't even have to. Um, I'll go ahead and make the uh, contraption anyway. But here, so this is one of the trees that I planted. And um, while I was up there getting ready, it um, we did. We got our uh, naturally uh, generated bee's nest. Okay, so this one, unfortunately, planted right close to the ground. So what we're going to have to do, we have to be able to get a fire under there. Um, so there's one. Yeah, there's a couple bees. That's great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna breed these bees, and well, we're gonna make a bunch more of these uh, beehives, and then we're gonna keep breeding these bees so that they populate all these beehives. And then what will happen is they will be in search of flowers. I'll remove all the flowers from this side, and I have a row of flowers planted on the other side of my crop. So as they fly back and forth from their um, beehives here to the uh, flowers, they'll be dropping pollen and it'll speed up the growth of uh, my crops. So I'm gonna abandon my little contraption for the moment uh, that makes bone meal. Uh, we'll do that here when we're done with the bees. I just would like to stay focused on the bees. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We need to get a, um, a campfire going. 
I think I'm pretty low on coal. We're gonna have to do a mining episode here soon. So I'll grab some coal out of there. I think we need planks and uh, and or slabs, and we have that. Yeah. So there's a there you go and and sticks. So we have enough to make a one beehive or one uh, fire anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and get a shovel in our uh, hot bar. Let's go down and get a fire under there. So when we start messing with the bees, they don't get aggressive with us. It takes a lot of bee stings to uh, die, but uh, it's still not fun. Who knows, I have um, a bunch of saplings planted that I didn't have the bone meal for, and they're popping up, as you can see, as we, we may get a second uh, naturally occurring one. Uh, but really, one is all we needed to be able to populate all those. So let's go ahead and um, dig under this one. So you can place a fire directly under it, and it, uh, you know, I suppose in the real world, it, it, um, it would probably start the nest on fire. But uh, in this case, in the world of Minecraft, you can place it right under there, and it'll serve its purpose. All right, so we got our shears here. Let's see if we can, there we go, we got some honeycomb. Now we got some flowers. Let's see if we can uh, breed these bees. So three bees can fit in a nest. Now, there's already four bees here, so these bees are gonna be looking for, the fourth bee is gonna be looking for a new home. So I can kind of pull them over here. We'll get all four of them over here. And whichever one is the fourth man out uh, will likely claim this nest right here, or this beehive, as their new home. And these will function just like the naturally uh, generating ones. And uh, you'll be able to get um, honeycomb and uh, honey bottles out of here. But more importantly, they're going to go back and forth uh, looking for flowers there and uh, pollinate our crops in the meantime. So let's go see how many more and then I think we have to wait a minute before we can breed him again. Let's see. Yeah, he's got hearts. He's ready to go. How about this guy? Not, not that one. How about this guy? Oh, there you go. So now we're going to make another bee. Okay. So while we give them a little bit of time, Let's go craft up uh, however many more beehives we can craft. Okay, looks like we can get five more at this moment. So let's go place those. But when we're done, when we breed up enough bees, all of these uh, beehives here will be populated with three bees each and they'll be flying back and forth and it'll speed up the growth of our crops very handy and then we'll have a pretty steady supply of um, honeycomb and uh, in case we wanted to make honeycomb blocks or more beehives uh, for the future and then we'll have uh, plenty of uh, access to honey bottles as well um, you know, if you go down into the, uh, oh, there we go. We just saw a bee come out of there. So, yeah, this must just be, this black-looking smoke must just be a glitch. The bees seem to be doing just fine. Um, if we have, if you go down and, like, for instance, uh, an abandoned mine, mine shaft and you're running into those poisonous spiders, if you got some of that um, honey bottles on hand, you'll be able to cure that poison. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start collecting up the flowers on this side. Because I really want the bees to travel to the other side. And then I'll probably, um, I don't know, maybe I'll leave these oaks here for now. But I'll ultimately probably end up, I'll leave these ones that haven't, uh, I'll leave the flower next to this one. Because this one hasn't um, grown up yet. So, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and get another uh, bee nest. 5% chance, so. All right, but here in uh, Bedrock version, I think you only have to wait a minute. I think on I think on Java you got to wait five minutes uh, to breed bees. Yeah, see now that I've removed a lot of the flowers, they're starting to to fly around. All right, here's one. Let's find another one. As soon as we have two, we'll breed them up again.
All right, I spotted this gray sheep here and we need a gray sheep. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw him over to my sheep pen. You might have saw the, uh, I have a cow pen and a sheep pen now. You might have saw them as we were walking past. So now we'll have white, brown, black, and gray sheep. We'll probably make all the sheep colors. Uh, we, we'll probably make a, uh, an automated sheep farm too here for, uh, for wool at some point. Again, thanks to the Neo Cubist where I saw this particular uh, sheep pen design. Let's see if we can get another gray one. All right, where'd the brown one go? There he is. All right, I see we have another gray one, another black one. Be nice to have um, two of each color. Uh, that way we can reliably get uh, the colors we need. All right, back to my bees real quick. Yeah, see, and they're finding their way over here now. And um, so this is perfect. So you can see the little pieces of pollen they're dropping as they fly over the crops. That pollen will land and it'll act like, uh, it'll act like uh, bone meal. It's not quite as potent as bone meal, but again, it's constant free. Okay, and, and we already see that there are bees going in and out of this one right now. So it is working. And um, it's just a matter of me breeding these up and we'll have all of these populated and then the crops will be growing a little bit faster. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen is now that we have all these crops, now we have a good source of uh, a lot of the materials that those villagers from that village right over there are going to trade for. So we can really start getting um, emerald rich here and we'll probably start doing that. That may be, even be the next episode. Either that or a mining episode because I'm getting pretty low on uh, iron and coal. So we're going to need some resources as well. And I haven't gone mining around here yet. So um, And since this is a permanent base, uh, we'll be here for a while. So we may do a pretty involved mine uh, with um, auto unloader mine, uh, mine carts and all that fun stuff. So that's where we are. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I will finish doing what we've been doing here with the bees off camera. You get the idea. You don't have to uh, sit through it while I breed up all those bees. Uh, but now, what I wanted to do was I did also set up... Uh, I went to the uh, those other couple of villages that we found back in episode... Um, I think it was episode 3. Whenever, wherever we found the raid tower and all that. And I collected the bookcases. I was hoping I'd have silk touch by then, but that's all right. I just had to, I had plenty of wood. So I made the bookcases. They're upstairs already. We need to make a crafting table now. I'm sorry, an enchantment table. So we need obsidian. Um, we need, we need a book. Okay, I got a book here. And then I think we might have enough of everything else. Yeah, and I put my, um, so these up here, you can see the slightly lighter colored blocks. So these are my crafting tables. Um, and I built uh, one of these contraptions here. This is similar to how the how the um, uh, the composter contraption was going to go to turn seeds into bone meal. So the cool thing about this is you've got a ch uh, chest up top, so a blast furnace, of course. So this is only good for ores. But the great thing about this is you load your ores up here, and since it's just in a chest, they can be mixed. So you can just you know whatever you've gotten from mining, you can throw gold and iron. Uh, you know, any ore that needs to be um, smelted, you, know, you can mix together and it'll automatically feed them one at a time. And then in this one, it feeds into the side. So you load this with fuel. So coal or lava or, you know, if you've got a blaze farm, blaze rods, whatever you got for a fuel source, and it'll keep feeding the fuel. And then it'll just dump them all down here one at a time. And so you'll have your iron, your gold, you know, uh, whatever it is you need to smelt up will be all down here. And um, as long as... Uh, you're nearby enough it'll just keep running passively so that's what this is all about um, it, it works great when you use a regular furnace too because then you can you, you can do it with foods so if you need to cook a mix of pork chops and steaks and uh, mutton whatever you can throw them all in the top chest and it'll feed them down there uh, one type at a time and you'll just have a uh, full chest at the bottom um, 
of the foods. Okay, so uh, our crafting table's up here. And I move the crafting table's up here near the chest because this is usually really where you're crafting. You're gra grabbing stuff out of chest and then you need your crafting table. So I've got a couple up here, a couple up here, you know, right in front of every, uh, every uh, section of chests. So we're going to go ahead and try to make our enchantment table now. I think I put every oh no diamonds we need diamonds in there too so let's grab some diamonds so we've uh, collected now that we have fortune two i haven't collected any more diamonds off screen uh that's just what we have um so we have really enough to make a full set we might have enough we have enough to make a full set of armor and we might have enough to make a full set of tools as well but uh let's see what happens here so okay so there is our uh enchantment table so let's go ahead and put that in place all right it's dark out so we'll have to go have a sleep real quick but uh, you can see that um, I placed all the bookcases already and there you go we are ready to enchant let's go have a quick sleep so not I'm sure it's too late there's a ton of mobs down there already by now all right, let's make some tools. Let's start with enchanting some tools. And so I'll need some sticks. Well, I'll have to make some more sticks. All right, so we have a fortune two pickaxe. Let's try another pickaxe. Maybe we can get silk touch, a sword, an ax. Let's put some of the stuff away and make some room. Okay, and I think I wanted to make a shovel as well. We'll make a full set of tools. Why not? All right, let's go get started with that. Let's see how we do. All right, so we got some lapis over here. Let's grab a couple of books too in case, in case we find some stuff, uh, some enchants we don't really care for too much. Oh shoot, that's right, I'm only at level 22. Well, we can at least take a peek. I forgot I fell off the roof, lost my levels. Efficiency 4, you know, that's pretty good, um, assuming I get something besides that, in addition to that. Let's see what we got coming up for our sword. Sharpness 4, that's not bad. I'm likely to take that. Sharpness four. And let's see what we get on our shovel. Efficiency four. Okay, so out of those enchantments, when I get to level 30, I will probably take sharpness four on my diamond uh, my diamond sword. I'm going to put these uh, tools away for now. And there you have it. All right, so that's where we are. Uh, Got to build up some levels here before we can start enchanting, I guess. I could take a lower level enchantment, but we're yeah, it won't take too long to get to uh, level 30. Do some fishing, do some staying up at night, killing some mobs, do some mining. Uh, so at any rate, I believe this is where we're going to end this episode. And I'm not sure how long it is, because um, a lot of it um, was waiting for bees to, uh, for beehives to uh, bee nest to naturally spawn. But at any rate... Uh, very good. Thanks so much. Hope you learned something about bees and had a good time. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next episode. Bye now.